Hey there friends, Nibs again, out in the garage tonight, and I uh, have a pretty pretty good sized mail call to actually show you guys all over the all over the country, all sorts of different methods of uh, purchase and gift and <laughs> so, but uh, we'll get we'll get started right away. Um, but just as I was just as I was getting started setting up for this mail call video, I actually got a call from Henry Ford, and uh, I don't know if you remember if you've been following my channel at all for a little while. A couple of weeks ago, I. <clears throat> had an unboxing video, a mail call video, where I unboxed a Crossman Model 106, which was Crossman's, actually Crossman's very first uh, pump-up pellet pistol. I think maybe even their very first uh, pistol at all. I believe that's the case, actually. But uh, I did order a kit from Henry, and I tried sealing it myself, and... Uh, just wouldn't seal it wouldn't shoot wouldn't wouldn't hold air uh, when I pumped it it would just blow right through so I decided to uh, send that into him and <clears throat> and uh, he just called me up and said he got it up and running the uh, but whoever had it before me had damaged the internal valve the actual metal pieces and Henry had to replace those so he had those in his stock which is something he normally wouldn't sell, you know, to somebody to rebuild a gun for. So, so anyway, it was a good, good deal. Uh, I'm not going to say how much he charged me, but he, he definitely didn't charge me enough. But I, uh, but uh, so the first thing I actually have here is from him the seal kit for uh, <clears throat> the seal kit for. Uh, my 1377 that I was just given uh, last week uh, and that was given to me by the owner of this Daisy model 1300 is that right 1200 Daisy model 1200 getting all my model numbers all mixed up and uh, done a couple of videos on that guy just a real simple repair on that one but I really like that one so much I started searching on <clears throat> on eBay and uh, they're not selling for very much so but I found one that was even cheaper than most and I ended up uh, it was a buy it now with a make offer and I made an offer and the guy accepted it so I got this one real cheap but after I had already bought this one and paid for it I think within hours actually of me buying this one and paying for it a subscriber on the channel his name's Glenn I won't mention his last name some people don't like that but uh, his name first name's Glenn he messaged me on uh, Facebook Messenger and said hey I have one of these and uh, if you're if you're willing to wanting to tinker with it or whatever he said I didn't know if it worked or if it would hold air or whatever so he has shipped that one to me too and lo and behold they both came on the same day so we're going to go ahead and unbox them and uh, throw a CO2 in there. So this this one might get a little bit long, but uh, hopefully you guys will stick around and we'll see if these things work. But uh, so anyway, yeah, Henry uh, called me and let me know that my Model 106 was ready and He's going to go ahead and ship it out for me. Uh, I'm going to send him a check in the mail. I guess I've gotten on a good enough rapport with him that uh, he trust me to get the payment over to him. I've spent enough hundreds of dollars with him. I guess it's uh, <laughs> that's the way. good to have good contacts okay, so this is the one that I actually bought from from eBay and I don't recall right off the top of my head I think they said it held air but uh, honestly I don't remember <clears throat> she's got BBs in there for sure so these are I don't know if it's got a co2 in it. let me see no nope, no co2 cartridge okay so I'm not going to charge this one yet because I'm going to get out the other one. So 
so this one does have the cast metal so there's there's some features on these you can tell the kind of datum but actually you can just look at the date code on here and 7g04 so hmm, this must be a real early one because it couldn't be in so they started making these in 77 and I don't have it in front of me but the G is a letter designation for the month <clears throat> but this wouldn't be an 87 because in 87 by 87 there was a lot of features that this one has that were discontinued one of them being it's got these serrations on, on the top of the vent rib to uh, reduce glare they stopped doing that <clears throat> in like 83 or 84 this one that I have from my friend actually has that same thing on there and his was made in uh, 83 so so I'm pretty sure this one here is actually a, a 77 which is the first year of production so that's pretty cool and it, and it looks to be in really really nice shape too so hopefully it works <laughs> but let's see what this one that uh, this Glenn, Glenn sent me looks like here I've seen these for sale on I bought a I bought one of the co2 200s and I haven't I dug into it and the seals are all bad in that and I can't find anybody who sells a seal kit and I uh, <clears throat> so I one of these days maybe in the winter time when it things slow up a little bit summertime is just crazy busy for me but and I try to I'm trying to keep up and keep videos going and also keep up with everything else in my life but when when winter time rolls around things will slow up a bit and I can take a little more time to uh, to actually start looking at some of these project guns here so all right so let's see what this one says this one says B85 so this one is in 1985 so and this one doesn't has a feature that doesn't show up on either one of those other guns and it has a, a sight window there but it still has the serrations on here so I found a timeline that has a pretty good outline of the different features that were that came and went on these guns so and I did I do remember seeing the the sight window as a very short uh, short-lived feature but that's pretty cool doesn't sound like there's any BBs in this one so it cocks and everything's mechanically seems to be working there let's see about this one <laughs> the BBs are just falling so at least it's feeding the BBs they're just falling right out because there's no co2 in there so that was what the problem was with that other one is it would not it would fire but the BBs wouldn't feed from the magazine into the uh, <clears throat> from the magazine into the actual chamber. So this is the one from Glenn. It has the sticker that's in the handle. This is the one from my friend. It also has the sticker in the handle, which was a on early guns, but not the earliest gun. There was a feature, but the ones that the earliest ones actually just have a, a, a stamp in the same circle and they didn't have the sticker it just says powerline 1200 actually molded into the plastic so let me uh, I'm gonna have to move the camera because it's in the way of my drawer so I'm gonna move you over just a second grab a couple of co2 cartridges and we'll see how these guys work Stop by Walmart and pick up another box of CO2s here. I got, I do have some more, but <clears throat> my stash down there is almost, almost gone. So one thing that Henry always does is uh, every every seal kit he sends out, he sends one of these little bottles of uh, Pelgun oil. I believe it's the actual Crossman Pelgun oil. It's the same. It looks the same. 
Um, so I have these things all over the place because of all the, because you only use it a little bit of it for each gun. <coughs> all right, so let's see. This is uh, this is the one I bought on eBay. We'll try that one first. So what you do is you take your CO2 cartridge and put just a little drop of power gun oil on the tip of the CO2 cartridge and that helps seal it in the uh, in the handle here. Unscrew this. So far I am really pleased with both of the, these and as far as the <clears throat> outward condition of them anyway. So it's, it's holding air as far, so that's a, the first key step is it, the valve is sealing, so it, at least it's holding air in that fashion. So you always want to tip these down when you cock it so that the feed mechanism can <laughs> it's shooting. <laughs> it's, so this one is good to go. I like it. got a lot of power so the other one that I worked on for my friend there that one was what was it uh, I can't remember it was over 500 feet per second I know that and uh, <clears throat> I'll have to I'll post a picture of the uh, chronograph numbers that I read with his that one really seems to be popping about the same type of speed so Glenn said he didn't believe uh... all right I'm not even gonna bother putting a co2 waste in the co2 in this one uh, right off the bat because I can tell the little seal that seals the neck of the co2 cartridge inside there I can't really get an angle where the light is hitting it but the the seal is cracked in there and I can tell as soon as I pierce this CO2 cartridge that one would leak right out but um, other than that it really looks like and that's a pretty easy seal to uh, to make and match up and put in there and I've got these bins of uh, o-rings and flat washers and stuff that I picked up from a couple different places far farm supply and Harbor Freight and things like that so I should be able to match up a, a rubber o-ring seal to stick inside of there pretty easily that'll be a subject for another <laughs> another video but there you go so there's my mail call um, got a really nice I believe first year of production I'll have to do a little bit of double checking on a couple of the features on this one but uh, I'm pretty certain this one's a first year of production and fully functional ready to go um, got that one really cheap on, on eBay uh, <clears throat> and then they got this one from Glenn and again this is a nice early one they made these all the way up into the late 90s I believe and later later versions of these they st stopped making the die cast metal uh, molded metal bodies and started really cheaping out and getting plastic and things of that nature uh, you know the, the grips and stuff are plastic on all of them but you know that's kind of typical even with real pistols so but uh, I like these with the all metal bodies and all the internal pieces are, are really nice and sturdy but so here we'll do them put them all up here so there you go hope you guys appreciate the video uh, if you did like share and subscribe Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Hope you stuck around till the end to see if which ones work. Till next time, have a great day.